Oh, good morning, everybody. I know, I know. Laugh it up. Laugh it up, why don't you? I died in the mines last episode before reaching level 20. I know, I know. I suck at fighting. Let's just let it go. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Let's see what the weather's going to be for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Egg Festival. The event will take place in the Pelican Town starting between 9am and 2pm. Don't be late. Ooh, Egg Festival. <gasps> egg Festival. Oh, I really would like some money because I'm pretty sure we can buy stuff at the Egg Festival and I'm completely and utterly penniless. That's a huge shame. Uh, what else do we have here? The Fortune Teller. Uh, tell me that you're going to be fantastically in a good mood. Good humor today, have a little extra luck. We could potentially try our luck in the mines again. It could potentially be a thing. Oh no, oh no. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole, some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon, Willy. Ooh. So Willie is actually selling a better rod now. Oh, we got another one. Dear Farmer Man, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the Town Square. You should arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want m to miss the annual egg hunt. Mayor Lewis. No, I don't want to miss the annual egg hunt. <gasps> the beans! The beans have grown! Hooray, the beans! Yer, one of them, one of those, one of those, one of those. Yer, we got a silver star bean. The other stuff is indeed still growing. Uh, looks like these are cauliflower. I'm pretty sure these are cauliflower too. We got a lot of cauliflower coming in. A lot, a lot, a lot of cauliflower. So let's see here. We do want to keep one of these guys for um, gifting people, and we do want to keep one of these guys for the community center because I happen to know that um, one of those, a parsnip and a potato, are um, all very, very good things that we require for one of the bundles. We also require one of the cauliflowers, but they haven't quite grown yet, so that's definitely going to be a thing we need to look out for. Um, I'm already starting to run out of boxes for all of the stuff that I want. Let's put that away. Um, we have some things here that Gunther wants to see, and I think that's it, really. It's literally just that topaz. Not the topaz, sorry, just these glass shards that he wants to check out. We've got some other stuff here that I want to be kind of utilizing. I'm beginning to feel like I am becoming a little bit disorganized in everything inside of here. This is also for a community bundle that we're going to want. Small mouth bass we will sell. I think I'll keep all of the beans. Uh, the bug meat I'm going to want to keep as well, and slimes. The copper ore we got to get cooking. The hardwood we definitely want to keep. Uh, those cherry bombs I'm going to be wanting, fiber we'll keep a hold of, sap we're keeping, topaz we have two of them for gifting, those two for gifting, loads of stone saving up here. And I think I'm going to give the wizard the earth crystal, I think he might appreciate that a little bit more, um, because he seems to be interested in things that have good properties. The geodes we are getting quite a stock of and we don't actually have a lot uh, to... Uh, a lot of money, sorry, to actually process them all. Sorry, that was my phone going off, completely distracted me. And we have two smallmouth bass. I feel like we have some smallmouth bass already. We do indeed, so we can sell these two dudes. Really need to start trying to get some money on the go. Definitely a thing. Um, in fact, I might just sell these in the hope of getting myself a bit more cashilu. Cashilu? There's a mix of cashibe and cashola all at the same time. Uh, an attempt at word salad, but an absolute fail on my behalf. And we have an empty plot, plot, plot here. Hmm. Man, I can't English today. Everything is kind of failing me right now. Let's see here. Let's get some of this copper cooking. That's definitely going to be something that we're going to be wanting to get into. Oh, the coal is the thing that I lost. Ugh. That's a huge shame. Get cooking, you. Can't believe I died in the mines. Can't believe I died in the mines. Such a huge epic fail. Um, Alright, well that's pretty much everything put away. I'm going to take the scythe and the axe with me today, just in case I happen to need it. Let's go into here and reorganize things in the manner of which I prefer them. Very, very nice. And uh, yeah, I feel like that's probably going to be what we're going to do today. Hmm. Some interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Let's pop all of these dudes around, that's a bit better. So let us head out. We've already got all of this stuff watered, we don't need to worry about any of that stuff. We're going to head down to the wizard, I believe. Check him out first. Now let's head into town first. Let's head into town first because all of that is super overgrown, a huge, huge pain in the butt to get past. Oh nice, copper bar already. Bonus. I'll tell you what then. I'm going to go ahead and put you in. And we're going to get another one made. Uh, copper, there it is. There you go, buddy. Probably should do with another one of those. Could be a good idea. That would do. Let's head on in and uh, see what we can get done today. Man, I'm completely still in shock and awe that we died. 
absolutely amazingly in shock and awe. Wasn't paying attention to my health or my energy meter at all. Um, yeah, complete nut fail. Absolute, absolute, flat out fail. No excuse for it. Terrible. So yeah, egg festival tomorrow, and then Haley's birthday. It's a shame that we don't have much cash. Uh, I know that Abigail likes the amethyst. We can go and give her some of this. I know that she does like this stuff. Hey there, Pierre. How's it going? I don't have anything to sell for you today, buddy. I'm afraid, and I can't buy anything from you either. Which is a little bit of a shame. Hmm, topaz and such going on today. Yeah, it's um a little bit hard times, in all honesty, guys. I'm totally, totally penniless. Completely and utterly penniless. Maybe. Mm, who would like topaz? I'm not entirely sure. And again, with it raining, we're not really going to be running into anybody at all. Hmm, well, you know what? With it being the whole. Um, egg festival thing tomorrow. Maybe we should actually be focusing on trying to make some money just from fishing for the day. I think that could be a good idea. So what I might do uh, is with it being the egg festival tomorrow, I might make a double attempt at this episode. So we'll do the daytime today. Um, I'll be doing a lot of fishing so I can add in a couple of cuts just to kind of get the boringness part out of this because I really want some money for the egg festival tomorrow. And the easiest way that I can make a fair amount of money quickly is by fishing. That's probably the best thing that I can possibly consider doing right now. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fish most of this day away. Forage what I can. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we'll bring ourselves back for the egg festival as well. And it should be a little bit more interesting that way. Then we'll get this little bit of today done. I'll have a little bit more of an idea on what I'm actually doing because my brain is kind of confusolated as to what's happening in the game right now. Because I'm just so bummed that I died in the cave. I'm just so, so bummed that I died in the cave. Let's head over to the wizard. I wonder if he likes earth crystals. It feels like something that he would like. Hey there, dude. How's it going? Let's have a word with you first. Say hi. Hey, buddy. I believe the townsfolk are afraid of me. Aw, oh, that's a shame. It is unfortunate, but I suppose it is human to be afraid of the unknown. Uh, yeah, I guess so, and also you're a bit nuts, and you got a pot full of horrible green thing, and you trap little creatures in little balls, and then you say things like, um, you know, we don't understand, but whatever, have an earth crystal. Many thanks, this item has some very interesting properties. Okay, so is that better than the quartz that I gave you? <laughs> are you are you still right at the bottom? Oh, you're not, actually, that brought you up a little bit. Okay, so they're better than quartz. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, let's get to it. Let's get to doing some fishing and try and make me some money because um, I want to buy some stuff for the Egg Festival. I'm sure there is a stand there and I really, really, really would like to be buying some stuff while I'm there. And now I have the larger backpack, I don't have to worry about my inventory running out all the time and it's going to be much, much better for us. Much, much better. So let's see what we can get caught today. Great start. Great start. Well, we got some treasure. Another smallmouth bass. Ooh, another amethyst and another geode. That's pretty nice. Okay, nothing but smallmouth bass in that river. That definitely seems to be what's happening there during the uh, evening. Although I didn't try doing a super low cast. Does this make any difference? Are we going to get something else other than a smallmouth bass? Nope, broken CD instead. Nope, never mind. Forget it. A little bit forage. Hmm, so how about this river? Do we get anything different in here? Oh, excuse me! <laughs> it's all that algae I've been eating. Oh! Well, I don't think it's a smallmouth bass. It's a job! It's Leah! <gasps> Leah! How's it going? Hey, out for a walk in the rain, are we? Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. How would you like... A horseradish? No, I don't want to eat it. This is a really nice gift, thank you. Yay! She liked it, I think. Yeah, it's still top of the board. Hooray! Giving up all of her gifts this week, though, so uh, no more for you, Leah. 
Alright, I'm heading my way down to the ocean to try and find a little bit of a better spot to fish because all I've been catching is smallmouth bass and I feel like they're not a hugely profitable creature. Um, so I'm going to head back down to the docks and maybe be able to catch a buttload of eels because I'm pretty sure we get a little bit more money for those guys. I'm pretty sure they're worth just that little bit more. Ooh, a musher. And I uh, sold that cockle and forgetting that I should have kept that because that's also something that I'm going to need for one of the community center bundles at one point. Some really weird noises during the rainy times. Really, really weird. Let's try my theory yet again. Super tiny, teeny, weeny, itty bitty cast. Mm, nope, didn't work this time. Oh, what are you doing? Where are you going? You going up? You going down? What's going on with you? The sardine. How about that sweet spot that we were at last time, where we gave loads and loads of tiny, teeny, weeny, itty bitty casts, and uh, we got loads and loads of eels? Because I think they're a little bit more of a profitable catch. Ooh. Right off the end of the dock, right where the eels like to live. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's an eel. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, get some treasure too. Yuri. Oh, no, 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 you, got, you can't escape now. No, 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 I want the freaking treasure. Maybe it's gold. Gold bullion. One eel, 12 inches. And some bait. Very nice. And then amphibian fossil. Ooh, another donation for the museum. Amazing. Now, we're actually uh, full of stuff, so let's ditch the trash. Like that looks good. Uh, we can also eat this algae. Just to give me a tiny bit more energy, because it's going to be a late night fishing. Another little sardine, and... Another geode! Yay! Only one eel today, though. Maybe my technique is not foolproof. Maybe it's just luck. Ooh, a halibut! We haven't got one of you guys yet, I don't think. Uh, I will ditch the dandelion. So I made a little bit of a change from fishing right off the edge of the dock and actually cast quite far away then and got myself a halibut instead. I haven't been getting that many eels tonight. Yeah, getting around about 10 o'clock, we're going to be heading home pretty soon. Okay, there it is, last cast. I have spent the rest of the day, stood down here at the dock in the rain, fishing my little heart out in the hopes of being able to make some money for us to have a little bit of spending cash when we're at the uh, egg festival tomorrow. So, also I've been getting quite a few little treasure chests, which is amazing. So I'm hoping if I go back and sell everything, maybe we'll have a little bit. I don't think I'm going to have enough money for what I would have liked to have done. But that's okay, you know? That's okay. What is this guy? A heading! A heading! And some treasure. Another heading! Oh, dried starfish. An artifact. Ah! Uh, that's pretty cool. I would like to take him, so I'll actually swap out the coal for that guy. Um, and I feel like this herring is going to be more valuable than the clam that I'm carrying. Yes, I believe that's only about 50 gold, so that's not too bad. We haven't done a massively bad haul at all, really, all things considered. That's going to do us, though, because we want to get back before... Oh, you know what? Ooh, one more. Max power! Let's get one more. We should still have enough time to get home. It's about the same distance from here to mine, so we should be totally fine. Woo! Oh, I think we've got another eel. Oh, that's it. Yeah, hang around right that treasure chest. Perfect. Is the treasure chest 5,000 pieces of gold? That would be amazing. Come on, buddy. Give it up. It's all over for you. There it is. Another eel, 30 inches now, amazing, a new record. What is that, a dinosaur egg? <gasps> I found a freaking dinosaur egg, oh my god, I want that too. Um, we're pretty much out of room, a uh, dinosaur egg, definitely bye-bye muscle, I can find that again, doubt I'll find a dinosaur egg again. Uh, and another eel, ooh, the only thing that I've got to swap out here is the topaz, the amethyst, I'm keeping the artifacts, or it's going to be geodes. You know what, we've got quite a few geodes. I don't think geodes sell for much. 
I know this is probably a really bad idea, but I'm going to ditch him. Okay, that's it. We're full. We are definitely, definitely, definitely super, super, super full, and it's getting late. Oh, look, Willie's on his way home. I was here fishing when you left, brother. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm going to run my way home. Uh, we're going to sell everything we can as soon as we get back to the farm, um, which is pretty much everything in my inventory. We've missed Friday night at the saloon as well. That's always the best time to catch everybody in one place, too. Oh, we'll catch them all tomorrow for a little bit of a chat. I feel like I'm not making fantastic progress in the game. I feel like I'm really not, but I don't really know much about the game. I'm, this is pretty much my first real play of it, so uh, we got a couple of things that I know about, but not really a lot. But nevertheless, let's have a look in here. Does it pause while I do this? I feel like it doesn't. Uh, no, I don't think it does. So let's get rid of you, all three of you, you, uh, the herring. I feel like I need a halibut for one of the bundles, so we'll ditch one of those. The chub I've got, the sardine I've got, the anchovies I've got, got you, I've got you, keeping you for the bundle, and we'll sell all of you, and I'll even sell this and this. There's literally everything I possibly could sell, I believe. Um, if I head over into this box. I do have an eel. Oh wait, do I not have a herring? Oh yeah, I got a herring. I got a bream there too. Yeah, we definitely got a couple of dudes here that we want to be checking out for some bundles. That's definitely a thing. And all of these guys are going to be for Gunther to have an inspect at. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow is the egg festival. Which I'm really, really pumped about. Anything else I can consider selling. Look, literally, I've got a clam, or some little things like that, which aren't really going to bring me any kind of profit whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to have to kind of leave it at that and see how much all those fishies make me. Yep, it's got to be a thing. Alright, cool. We'll call it there, peeps. I'm going to chuck this guy into here as well, and uh, let's see what we can do tomorrow for the Egg Festival. I will be back momentarily. Hey, kitty. First thing in the morning, and we'll go to the festival. It's going to be amazing. Yay, level 3 fishing! A new crafting recipe is a crab pot, and we can make the dish of the sea. Ooh, dish of the sea. Level 2 foraging, a survival burger. Yum, that looks amazing. Ooh, that's not actually too bad of a haul at all. If memory serves. Actually, those three smallmouth baths were worth the same as one of those eels, uh, which is pretty crazy. Didn't I sell more than one eel? Yeah, you know, niche. So the most valuable one there for just one off. Uh, yeah, it looks like it was the eel. 106 apiece. Hmm. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. 100 for each piece of amethyst, though. That's nice. All right, beautiful. Hopefully that'll give us a bit of spending money. Ah, much nicer. Good 2k in the bank now. That was quite profitable of an evening. Let's have a check on the TV, see how everything is doing today, weather for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Absolutely amazing. The fortune teller, nobody cares because we're going to the egg festival today. Hooray, egg festival day. Beautiful times. Oh, we got some mail. Me sell hats. Okay, Poke? Come to old, old, old house, Poke. Bring coins. Hat mouse. <laughs> this guy's awesome. I want to go meet the mouse that sells hats. Dear farmer, farmer man. <laughs> I love the multiples in my terrible picking of name. I'd like to apologize for me joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really quite a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday, and that's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel home in Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. Aha! She's trying to make me buy more of her stuff. She's definitely trying to make me buy more of her stuff. Now, I'm sure that today is the festival, right? Because I thought I was supposed to get a letter about it being the festival. It must be. It must be, because I was in town yesterday. Okay, here's me worrying, going, oh no, oh no, I missed the festival as well, and the first birthday. This game is ruined. This game is ruined. Start a new Let's Play, you completely and utterly mesh it up, man. No, it's not going to be a thing. Let's give everybody a bit of water. Uh, I believe it starts around about 9 o'clock, so we should have plenty of time to take care of these dudes. And oh my god, I have so much stuff that needs to water. I can't wait to get the watering can upgrade. 
so that we can handle this. This is why I already really like it raining, because, um, oh my god, so many crops. <laughs> But we're not been doing too bad, I suppose. As I say, I'm very much new to the game. Uh, there's a couple of things I know about it, but not a lot do I... Oh, we require scythe to harvest these. Ooh! Kale! Yummy, 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 Ooh! And another parsnip. Yarrr! I do like kale. I do like kale. Let's get some of this in here. Lovely. All of those awarded all of you guys. And now it's just all of you dudes require some hydration. So I'm kind of thinking about what else we can be doing on the farm, where I want to be looking for next, um, and I'm not entirely sure, in all honesty. Just going to kind of play it along and see how it goes. Again, if you guys do have any tips and suggestions and comments, drop them in the comment box below for me. It really does help me out. Um, although, do bear in mind that I do bulk record these, so um, it may take me a while to implement any of the suggestions that you will drop in. But please don't hesitate to drop in any, because I always reply to my comments, and I will pick them up pretty quickly and be able to iterate your wonderful, wonderful knowledge into my gameplay, and hopefully not be such a noob. And any comments like, don't die in the mines, you absolute loser, um, please keep to yourself. <laughs> the egg festival has begun in the town square, and that is absolutely perfect timing, because we have already finished everything we are going to do for the day. Uh, I'm going to take all of these, all of those, uh, and that parsnip. Yep, and I'm going to sell them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Alright, cool. I don't think we actually need any of our tools or anything like that because I don't think we actually have anything to do in the festival. And once we return, it is going to be night time. But yeah, let's go check it out. I'm going to the egg festival. I'm going to the egg festival. Ooh, hello, little buddy. Bam! Clay. Aw. Never mind. You're. Ooh, wait, there's some more. Oh, I almost didn't see you. Bam! Aw, more clay. Uh. Yay! I knew there was a freaking shop! I knew it! I knew there was a shop! Ah, oh, look at this, everybody's here. All of this area is blocked off and we can't do anything here. But I like these little festival events because you have all this time to kind of hang around, talk with everybody and see what's going on. Hey Shane, how are you doing? Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. Mmm, corn. I like corn too. Hey Linus, how's it going? No one really talks to me. I just come for the devil eggs. Okay. Oh, that's sorry then, man. I'll talk to you. I just did. You want to talk some more? You want to talk some more? I did. No? No? No, okay. He doesn't want to talk anymore. Yay, Pierre! A plush bunny for 2k. <gasps> Maybe next year. Strawberry seeds. Ooh, that is what I wanted. Plant these in the spring. They take eight days to mature. And we'll keep producing strawberries after that. Now, I don't know whether it's a good idea to plant these immediately and try and get as many harvests out of them as I can before the spring is over, or to buy them and keep them until next spring and um, plant them at the beginning of the season, and that way I'll get a lot more. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, because we do have quite a few crops waiting to yield at the moment, I'm going to buy as many of these as I can actually afford, uh, which is going to be 22. I'm going to put all my money into strawberry seeds. All of it. All of it. And then we can decide what to do with it in the next episode. Uh, I think I might do kind of half and half. Like I could plant, say, 10 of them now and save the other 12 for the beginning of next year. And that way I kind of get a little bit of balance on each and restock at the next egg festival. It sounds like a good idea. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How's it going, Gus? I hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Good effort. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs. That's, that's, that's a lot of eggs. Oh my god, the cholesterol numbers are soaring. Is there any more food? Really? This isn't enough food? This isn't enough food? You're joking. Hee <laughs> hee, I put something nice into the punch. Uh, what? I hope you're meaning alcohol, Pam. Shh, that's just between you and me, kid. Um, I'm hoping she's meaning alcohol. Demetrius, I, I, I think she's putting nasty tr nasty things in the punch. Egg, what a strange thing to eat. Admittedly, it is kind of, isn't it? But they're delicious. Hello the Robin. Spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off and catch up with friends. Day off? Day off? You have any idea what I had to do today? Abby's always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. Ah, well it's all over for her. I'm gonna win. 
Hey the Marlin, even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. Good for you there, man. Good for you, even with your bad leg. Um, sorry there guys, emergency mute while I have a little bit of a coughing fit. Yeah, even Marlin with his bad leg, I'm hoping it wasn't an arrow in the knee. Hey Willie! Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and nobody finds it. Well, until summer rolls around and the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. Oh no! Oh, well, I'll, I'll find them all, Willie, don't you worry about that. Oh, oh, check it out. <laughs> I'm a bunny wabbit. Okay, alright, fair enough. Let's have a look, talk to the ladies. Hey there, Maru! I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. Ah, oh, real community time. Hi, Penny! The children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. Yo! No one knows how bright green Penny's eyes are. Hmm. Hey there, Jazz. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. Oh, look at him looking so sad. Oh, don't be sad, Jazz. I'm sure you will. When does the egg hunt start? I'm so excited. And I'm, I'm stuck. Uh, guys. Oh, good. That would have been terrible. Oh, poor Jazz. Don't feel bad, Jazz. Well, actually, get ready. It's gonna get worse because I'm gonna win. I'm gonna find them all. I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. It's always my favorite part of the season. Uh, did you color many of them blue? I feel like some of them might be blue. Vincent loves this festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. Yeah, it's amazing. <gasps> Leah. What are you hanging out with this dude for? What's going on? Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hi, Leah. Hmm. This fruit punch is unusually good. <laughs> you, you, you keep away from her while she's got all that fruit punch in her. You hear me? You, you me? Seriously? Don't like it. Don't like it. Hey, George, how's it going? What's everyone so happy about? <laughs> eggs. Why eggs? Uh, because, why not eggs? This festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. It's comforting. Ah, that's very true, I guess, as well. Huh, never looked at it that way. Hey, oh, this is this is where the cool kick hang out. <coughs> hey, guys. How's it going? Yeah, no, boring, right? How's it going, Sam? Sniff up my nose allergies. <laughs> Sucks to be you, man. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. If the treasure was X. We used to do a rotten egg toss. May have Lewis put an end to that pretty quick. Ah, that's no fun, although ugh, rotten eggs. Hello. This festival is alright, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. Oh, she super likes the flower dance. Oh, I want to dance to the flower dance too. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. That's not very good for you. I need that protein for my legs. Why? What? Legumes, man. Lentils. Chickpeas. All the protein you're ever gonna need. Rather than eggs. Not the best source of protein, really, in all honesty. In my opinions, though. Um, let's have a little run around here. Have we met everybody? I think the wizard does come to events. You've just gotta track him down. I think he kinda sits out of the way. No, he's not over here. Because I've seen him at a few events, um, and I'm kind of wondering if he actually shows up to all of them. Only he's just a little bit off the beaten path, and you just got to track him down a little bit. No, he's not down here. Oh, Mr. Wizard! Oh, Mr. Rasmodius! Are you here to examine the magical properties of eggs? Oh, hi there, Doc. I almost forgot about you. Eggs definitely have a place in a well-balanced diet. Do they? Oops, I should take off my doctor's hat for the time being. <laughs> yes, yes you should. It, it's a festival. Relax, man. Why is... What's in the bush? There's something amazing about this bush. I, I don't understand. The doctor seems fixated on that bush. Not entirely sure why. Uh, let's have a little bit more of a look around. Oh, Mr. Wizard! Have you come to the egg festival? I can't see him anywhere. Mr. Wizard? No? Huh. How very interesting. I wonder why he's not at the egg festival. Maybe he doesn't like eggs. Could potentially be a thing that he doesn't like eggs, I guess. I mean, everybody doesn't like something. He's hiding over here? No. 
I have no idea. I have no idea. I might be completely missing. But, um, ah, never mind. I'm sure it's totally fine. Wherever he's doing, I'm sure he's happy. Let's have a word with little Marnie. Welcome to the Egg Festival. Compliments of my wonderful brood of hens. Is it a brood? I don't know. It's a group of hens referred to as a brood. I thought it was a flock. Okay, fair enough. I believe we have chatted to everybody. Yeah, pretty sure. I've bought everything that I want from the shop because it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of strawberries. And uh, yeah, let's get it going. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt yet? Yes. Now, I have done this once before, and I did win. So I'm really, really hoping that I do win. <laughs> because if I fail, I'm going to be a laughing stock. It's time for the highlight of today's festival, the annual spring egg hunt. Yay! Calm down, kiddos. You're going to need all that energy if you hope to find the most eggs. Uh, um. ah, and take home the exclusive prize. Sorry there, everybody. <clears throat> Multiple emergency mutes for me today. I do beg your pardon. Now, is everyone ready? Yes, we're ready already. All right, let's do it. Let the egg hunt begin. Go! We gotta find some eggs. There's one. I see an egg. That's an egg. Uh, I need another egg. Another egg. Another egg. Is there any more eggs? There's an egg. Yes, found an egg. Uh, any more eggs? Any more eggs? Any more eggs? Any more eggs? Ooh, there's an egg behind the tree. Give it to me. Got it. There's an egg behind the gravestone. Got it. What the? Don't read the frick gravestone, man. Nobody cares. We're after eggs. Not mourning people who have passed. Okay, there's one there. There's one over here. I saw one down here. Oh, this might be a bit far out of the way. I shouldn't have gone this far. There's one there. That's seven of them. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't die. I can't lose. Please, no. I'll do anything to win. There's another one. There are only a few seconds left. There must be more eggs. Ah, it's stuck on a rock. Ah, oh, no, there's only eight. Oh, no. I don't think I've done it. <laughs> oh, no. Is, is eight eggs enough? Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently. We'd have the cleanest town in this side of the gem sea. And now, the winner of this year's egg hunt. I, I have a horrible feeling that I haven't won it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't even win the egg hunt. Oh my god. Oh, well done, Abigail. Yay. Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, good lord. I suck. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it to hell. I can't not even win the freaking egg hunt, man. Oh my god, how do I not even win an egg hunt? What a huge, huge disaster. Oh, uh, well. There's always next year, I suppose. So that's that. One, two, three, four. That'll make five. There we go. Six. Yeah. There's ten of them. We'll keep the other... The other eleven? Wait a minute, didn't I buy twenty-two? I'm sure I bought twenty-two. Have I been stiffed? Did somebody steal some of my freaking strawberry seeds as well? I can't believe I didn't win the icon. Can't believe I didn't win the icon. Never mind. Never mind. We can always win next year, I suppose. Oh, I'm still super sad about it though. I can't believe I lost. <laughs> I can't believe I lost. Yeah, go ahead, laugh it up in the comment section. Freaking noob man doesn't even know how to wing the egg hunt. Oh, such a fails. Never mind, never mind. We got ourselves some more some strawberries. Our crops are looking all very nice. Let's get ourselves to bed and call this episode it for today. It's been an extra long one today. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, even if I did lose. And uh, yeah. Have a good old laugh there, everybody, at my expense. I'm sure it's absolutely worth it. <laughs> Have a good evening there, everybody. Thanks for joining. Take care now. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.